everybody and welcome back to my channel so today I have a bit of an exciting little uh, project to do I have been wanting to paint over Pokemon cards for the longest time I just think it's such a really cool idea you can sort of extend the art and yeah it just seems like a lot of fun so let's get into it so I started off with this Jangmo O Pokemon card. Now these are just basic Pokemon cards because I don't really want to paint over, you know, expensive rare cards or anything like that. However, I really like this card because I felt like I could sort of extend the ground out uh, with the bottom part of the card and I don't know, I just felt like having a lot of fun with it and this sort of art style kind of uh, stuck out to me a little bit and I really really wanted to try it. So I am using my Joe Sonja's Matte Flow acrylic paints for this and these are basically my go-to acrylic paints that I love so much. <laughs> um, but yeah I really wanted to sort of uh, sort of match the art style of the card and it was a little bit difficult at first trying to match the colors especially since with acrylic paints they sort of dry a little bit different uh, to how you mix the colors some of the colors sort of dry a bit lighter some colors dry a little bit darker so you sort of just have to test it out and see what it looks like when it's dried and try to adjust it if you need to but yeah I sort of mixed a few different brown colors with mixes of like purple and yellow in them so the highlight colors had more yellow and white mixed through and the shadow colors had a bit more blue and purple mixed through just to try and get like a dynamic range of colors and I really wanted to make it look bright and sunny and happy and yeah the texture for the ground I picked this sort of cracked uh, earth tone tone a sort of cracked earth texture because I felt like that would match the uh, walls of the uh, sort of mountains beside him I think he's in some like 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 canyony area so I really wanted to try and get those textures and also match the colors in the art as well because we have Jangmo O here which has a lot of yellow and there's obviously a lot of sunlight in, at the top part of the illustration so I wanted to sort of match the ambience of the scene and kind of put a little bit foreshortening in it as well I felt like as the rocks get closer to the viewer um, they, they'd be like bigger so I felt like I captured that pretty well and it definitely looks like you're close to the ground and you're looking up at this little dragon type and it's just so cute and yeah once I added the plants over the top of that uh, it really came together and it sort of blended in the original art of the card in with the art that I'm putting over the top of the card <laughs> but yeah painting over these cards was actually a lot of fun I really really want to try this again maybe even with like the evolved forms of this Pokemon I think that that would be pretty cool tell me below if you think I should do that But yeah, the final part of this little painting here was to paint in the sky. Now that was actually pretty fun and um, I didn't have that much trouble uh, matching the sort of sky colors, especially because there is clouds in the sky. So I was able to sort of mix a bit of white here and there and uh, sort of blend it out so it looked like it matched pretty well. And yeah, I'm really happy with the results and I really like how the clouds look. I think they look nice and swirly and cool. So here is the final results of this little guy and I love this so much. I think it's really neat uh, that you can basically turn a Pokemon card into a little painting and I don't know, it just looks really cool and unique and I really like it. So the next Pokemon card I am painting over today is this little Inkay. I really like Inkay. I think it's a really cute sort of squid Pokemon and I feel like they were able to make a squid cute. <laughs> um, and I really wanted to choose this card because it had a very different art style to the last card. You see, the last card had a more sort of 
not realistic but slightly more realistic uh, look to it it didn't have like full liner it kind of had like nice textures and stuff like that but this card is a little bit more of a cartoony art style so it, it has like bright colors and uh, sort of simple shading and also like nice bold outlines now I really wanted to try to do this because I wanted to see if I could sort of do that art style with these acrylic paints I don't think I've done something in such a cartoony art style with the acrylic paints um, and yeah I felt like with the paintbrushes I have at the moment I probably would not have been able to do that without a liner so I ended up I did end up going over with a liner to sort of add that line art but I'm pretty happy with the results and I think it looks pretty cool so this card has some pretty interesting colors the sky isn't exactly blue it's more of a bluey green color and uh, a lot of a lot of the colors in the background have a lot of green mixed into them uh, except the character the character doesn't have any green mixed into it so that's why it stands out really well but I wanted to sort of emphasize that a little bit so I used a lot of green at the bottom of this card I actually put in a whole layer of green as a base coat that I could work off of and yeah I basically used those leaves which was sort of in the foreground of the card art uh, to sort of I don't know continue that forward as I did with the last one and yes I made these ones a lot bigger to try and do that foreshortening thing again because I really really do like the results of that and I love uh, having things closer to the viewer and it looks bigger because it just looks really cool and it sort of gives a nice framing to the art now as before I tried to sort of match the colors now the colors are pretty interesting because some of these bushes have a bit more of a bluey tinge to it kind of like how the the blue sky has a bit of a greeny tinge everything's sort of homogenous a little bit and I really like that so I definitely wanted to continue that as well with those bushes and yeah just try and match it as well as I could now these paints are pretty nice and I wanted to say that they are a matte texture which I really really do like because one thing is the matte texture shows up better on film filming <laughs> and uh, one issue was that these cards have a very slight gloss texture to them so the original parts of the art as you can probably see in some of the footage uh, was a little bit glossy so if you sort of tilted it a little bit you could see what I had painted and what I hadn't painted but I ended up fixing that with just a very thin coat of a uh, matte varnish over the top of the card and that basically uh, made it all matte finished and uh, it sort of hid the fact that I had painted over it as well so I'm actually quite relieved with that and uh, yeah here is the final results of the ink and yeah I just had so much fun painting over these Pokemon cards it's kind of sacrilege to be honest because I love Pokemon cards and you don't want to ruin them but it was just so fun to get crafty and try and match the scene as well as I could so yeah, if you guys want to try this out definitely try it out and tag me on Facebook or uh, Twitter or anything like that I want to see what you guys can do if you can do better than me and yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video please hit like and subscribe I'm nearly at 10,000 subscribers so I'm pretty excited and yeah I will see you in my next video bye everyone